Hello, welcome to episode uh, eight. In the in this episode, uh, we took the project uh, to one more step further, and uh, we did a couple of things. And let's start with uh, the projects. So when you go to the project here and you click on view, on the project detailed page, uh, we added uh, two things. The first one is the domains okay so for instance this one uh, is a website development and uh, you can now add the domains the free domain and if there is a custom domain you can also add it for instance uh, this very project has the custom domain and a free domain so you can just go to Vasir uh, for my projects here uh just let me just go here and get this which is this one okay and you can see it has the both the domains this and also this so this is the free domain i'm just going to copy this go back to the app and let's add the free domain just like this update okay so you can see the uh as updated i can also get this one let's also update just like this update okay uh, I just close here okay you can see i have both the two domains uh for this project uh, here so if i click on this it opens or if i click uh, if i click on this it opens so nice that's the first thing we added uh adding the custom uh, the domains and then the second one was the payments let me just say i've added a test payment uh, test uh, payment and uh, maybe you say uh, ten dollars zero uh, let's just say here and let's create this payment okay uh, so you can see that this increased to this it uh, here but now we added the delete functionality so you can just go ahead and delete this the 10 payment thing and now you go back to this okay so we added two things uh to the project to make it like more solid uh more so these ones okay uh, going back to projects um the another thing we added on the project uh, if you just move uh in in here uh we added the portfolio and the portfolio comes with a number of things so if you just go to generate portfolio here the first thing is that the portfolio is accompanied by two things as i'm going to show you if let me start like by going to preview so let me just go and preview my portfolio so you can see i have like uh, a free functional portfolio page looking uh uh, awesome nice and everything here is custom or you can customize everything let's start with the projects the projects you want to show up you can customize them from the projects uh, here if you just go to the projects you can just customize by either making it public uh, the ones which are public they will show up to the portfolio and the ones which are private they will not show up and also we show a maximum number of four projects like this we'll add others down here as a carousel moving but for now we added the four base projects of yours that you have done are the ones you are going to be showcasing here that is this part of the projects cards here we'll add a detailed page of which we haven't yet added the detailed page but we'll add the detailed page uh, so after making them 
fabric you can just now customize this part here the profile image this location the number of projects you have worked on and so many other things that you have done so you can just come here okay and you go to generate a uh, portfolio and the i think you are going to name it customize portfolio so just go to this the portfolio page and you can customize this okay as you can see the email address the everything you see here if i change this to four i can just go ahead and update if i change the text here or i change the link you can just go ahead and do whatever you want and then you click on update uh, here and this is updated so if you just go back here and let's refresh did i just like put two projects i don't know what i did uh, let's just first refresh here did i just put two just put four here update i don't know where two comes from where does two come from okay it is four and it is refresh here it is four so you can just like update everything there the email address the appointment the google calendar appointment you can also uh customize it uh, you can just like add it from there so we have all this page customizable of course the email subscribers in a second you can put all your links let's go ahead and put the email here like this subscribe i think i have to add on this uh, to work on that button if i just go back here i have where we have subscribers if i scroll to subscribers here uh, you see to refresh it have like okay i have no idea of what has happened with our subscriber uh did it even work i am not so sure okay this must be having a bug for now free uh, domain this one still have like uh, a bug we're just going to fix it in the next episode i believe i wonder how this one came okay uh another thing we added was the change of password so you guys you know very well you have been just like hacking into my account edit and do what so you had add like uh why you can change the password you put the old password and then like the uh, the new password and then um of course you have to put in this to so check the old password for instance even if i put a nice one here and you try to update it's going to tell you that the old password does not uh, is incorrect so we added this uh, where you can update the password and so far the project is now looking so much robust and the another one we did of course uh, if you just go still on the generate portfolio we have a nice uh, of course you can preview uh, your portfolio here you can also share and you can see this here you have a nice you can share on twitter linkedin whatsapp all these places you can copy the link here and you can just go ahead and share with anyone let's go to a new thing here i'm just going to open a new tab and let's paste in this so you can just like share this publicly and someone can be able to do this uh, the dark mode is not the best here as you can see okay uh, we'll have to work around the dark mode but you have your page shareable and public this is very much public someone can see this okay
yeah so so far that's what we are able to do in this uh episode just going to work on this uh made a subscription uh it seems like it has a problem but otherwise uh, uh all these things are really looking nice and the where we have reached this is really super cool so okay they, so if you just like want to see how we implement it and also take part in the implementing this uh, let's get started and don't forget to like the video Welcome back to episode eight uh, of our project management system, and uh, we have moved so far. But in today's episode, we want to go ahead and uh, try to at least start um, putting all together all these concepts to completion. Yeah, um, uh, I'm just really uh, combining these uh, so that we can really get to finish uh finish the project and uh we look on how we can start others okay so here i'm just going to uh i'm just going to start with some settings uh, uh adding some settings uh for some reason uh because uh you guys you know my uh password for these uh these projects um you have been uh, <laughs> uh um, logging in and the uh, adding and some of these ones are actually some of my projects i'm just excited to add like some of the uh, projects so i'm just going to start by adding a settings whereby i can update um whereby i can update the uh, the password so that i don't have to uh, to worry about that so just going to start by going to uh, this account settings so that uh, you can change um a number of a number of things so let's start with uh, creating this uh, page account settings so i'm just going to go to this uh, actually, we had created a brand settings. I'm just going to copy this page and then I will copy and paste. And I will rename this to account. Account uh, settings. And inside the account setting, we have this page where we have the brand form. So just going to start with, um, I'm just going to go to this form. I will duplicate this, okay, brand form. I will just re re rename this to account. Um, in fact, specifically here, uh, we're just going to start with the password. I'm just name this to, sorry, because we have some other things we can modify. Password. Uh, just create this and say change password. Change. Change password form, specifically. Uh, to be change password form I'm just going so to rename this here say change uh, password change password uh, form okay it will um take in i don't know we don't need all this but I'm just going to first uh, go ahead and copy this to the account settings. Okay. Sorry. Uh, change. Change password form. It takes an initial data and editing ID. 
so let's go and see if i now click on account settings okay so right now it has this so some of the things are the uh, most ones we are editing them from here email phone country and others uh, but we don't have for the password okay so i will change to actually let me first change this one uh, i don't think this is supposed to be account i'm just going to say change password here change password okay change password and i'm just going to go to the sidebar uh, where we have i don't know settings It is this side down. Okay, this one is going to be password exchange A password. Um, here change A password. And you're just going to say, and I can just use the lock. Okay. So we can quickly go to change. Yeah, change password. Okay. Uh, you can see even down here is now change password. Okay. So there are two things that are required you put the old password and then the new password so i'm just going to remove uh, these change password form so here in the form let's start with the form we need only two inputs uh, this one and this one okay the remaining ones uh you don't need them so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove them. Uh, I will remove, uh, put them in vertical. So we may actually remove these first ones. Okay, so we have uh, this one is going to be the old uh, password okay uh, here's old password okay icon is going to be uh, the lock and first leave that one this one is going to be the new uh, password so this one is going to be the password input uh, just in a second. And then this side, we don't want this. Okay. Uh, so here I just have to make some, uh, some changes and even this footer, I don't think we need. We just need only one of these okay we already have one so uh, it was here now if i can add it here in the card okay uh great it looks great uh, okay Make this one six. Okay. Uh, so we need just use this one as a password input. You know, let me just go to Rusid. 
There is a log. Okay. And there is a log. Uh, a log and a log open. And uh, so I'm just going to use those icons. For this one, let me just say it is look open and this one is going to use another now for this one um just going to use a password input i can first go to the login like to the login form and get this this password input so there is this pass error i'm just going to copy with it just copy this. Okay. And the, just go back uh, to this. Let me just go ahead and put it here. Okay, so we need to create the pass error. Need to create this uh, pass error. So in top here, I can add the pass error. Okay. And we just going to go ahead and clean up the things we don't want update is going to remain uh, this initial image uh, is gone so this is also gone and then uh, pass okay uh, router i don't think we need a router uh, for these, um, we actually might not need any of these ones. I'll uh, just leave them there. Uh, we just need to get them actually. So uh, the first one is going to be old. Um, or the password and he's going to be equal to by default empty and the uh, the new password i think here we can just say password okay so other things let's remove them so we have this um, problem so we could just um we could just come and create we could just come and create the things we need here so we actually don't need the initial uh, for the password we not necessarily need the initial one we first actually think yeah we don't need the initial one this initial data as such but let's just leave it there so i'm just going to create the other props so here i'm just going to create some props here exports uh, type uh, password props I'm just going to say password props here okay so just going to have the old password which is a string and then you're just going to have also the new password which is also a string Okay, 
So you can just say copy these and just bring them uh, here. So just name this one to new password. Uh, similarly, here. Uh, here is going to set to be password props. Okay, so I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to name this one as new. So you can say new uh, password. Okay, um, that's great. Does this look like? Okay. Mm, still have like one error here. Okay, this one. So just going to go ahead and create another server action specifically for update password. So this is going to be update user password. Uh, update user uh, password. And this is going to take in a password props. Okay, so update user, we're just going to go here where we have the create user in the first place. Okay, uh, where we have these. Okay, for instance, this is hashed. So before we hash, we're just going to do some things. Um, so I'm just going to first add this line here. Okay. So what do we want to do? First of all, we want to check. So we just want to make take two checks. Uh, check if they all uh the old uh pass is equal to the uh, user password okay and if it is true then we'll go ahead and change the password so i'm just going to go to uh, to the post options there is this check we always did here if you remember uh, existing user those ones i'm just going to go here on this okay uh, this and this here okay um just copy from here up to here Control c Uh, so let's go to user. Okay, so just going to do a bunch of things uh, here. We could even first find uh, existing user, which is obvious. Const existing uh, existing user is equal to our uh, wage uh, db dot user dot find unique okay and then you can just say like find unique and then you pass in uh where id uh where is id we are uh, we are passing in okay uh, where it is so this is the existing user and then uh, we can just bring in this compare from bcrypt okay so now here what do we want to compare uh, this uh, we're just going to have existing user those password that is the reason we are finding the existing user here uh, he has this uh, password already so here we are comparing with 
uh, not credentials, but actually data dot. Uh, sorry, so this data here is suppose. Oh, 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 I'm in a wrong place, guys. Sorry. Uh, just cut these. Just to go to this one. Okay. Um, so we first get the existing user. So we check if the old password is equal to the new password. And we first say, let the password match uh, here equal false. And we can just say existing user an existing user dot password. So we get this. And if that is true, then, okay. And then here we say password match is compare. So this is going to be data dot old password. Okay. And we compare it with this. Uh, so this is going to give us either true or false. And we just come here and we say if. Okay, I'm just going to come here and say if password, uh, uh, no password match, just going to actually return here the, uh, the error. Okay, if you just go to, uh, we can just return something here, for instance, instead of this, we can just say like, instead return. Okay. Um, you can just say old password uh, incorrect. You say here old uh, old password is incorrect. So status um, this one maybe I am is going to be four zero three four billion and. Uh, then it is just going to work here. Uh, if the password is not true, then we're going to do that. But if it is true, then I'm just going to go here and get this. I will go ahead and get the this password. So I'm just going to come here and say const hash password is hash of the data dude a new password so we hash the new password and then we update the user for your data okay just like this where data so here uh, here is going to be the uh, password is going to be hashed password okay <coughs> you just need to update i don't know okay i think this will work i uh, just need to get this this return here and uh, let me just go and see if we can just get that to return on the change password form. Okay. It's going to be update. Okay. User password. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we just need to. just need to uh, go here and I'm just going to save this response now uh, const response and now we just have to go ahead and the uh, uh, let's first go back here a bit so here we have this here 
where we return this so when it updates here we're just going to return uh, error status and we uh, we actually need to return anything like that uh, or anything like that you can say to uh, 200 and error of course is going to be null okay and it set us over just like 200 so that everything is okay so i'm just going to go back to this form and we since we have the response we can actually get these uh, responses and you can say if uh, race dot status uh, equal to 403 so that's what we set it set uh, pass error to raise dirt error uh, it is string or null so can you say do this okay and you can say as string okay um and then we just say here is and we we could also just say say uh here to return and then you can say down here if uh raise dot if raise dot status is equal to 200 okay then we can just do this set loading uh, password updated successfully uh, password updated successfully just like so Well, okay. You can just go ahead and reset, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. I have to give it a try. And uh, there's some things we just need to change also in the form, like the press holder here is going to be the uh, old uh, password and then the new password so we're just going to go here remove this forgot link uh, like this uh, should just not have any problems yeah and i'm just going to change this to update password so this one is change uh, password and this one is going to be maybe say update password okay so let's start by saying if you just don't put anything here they will be required let's put anything here just like this and here let's put like a new uh, I suggested password here. Like, now nah, let's just put in like login at twenty twenty four. Okay, let's try to update now this one. So you can see here old password incorrect. Okay. Yeah, so we have this at uh, least this, this uh, um, error coming back because of this being incorrect. Okay, so I just need to change this and log out and see if it can actually change. So I'm just going to go ahead and the oh, uh, this we have to set, uh, set loading 
is false in all cases, uh, including here. Okay. Okay, so I can just like once again uh, put this uh, login at 2024. Uh, yeah, so you can see it has stopped. Update password. Why do we have update update password? Uh, I don't know if already yes, put here password, I guess. <laughs> okay. I don't know, can I pass in the icon here? Uh, what things can you pass in here? Okay, and just leave it like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in actually the old password, which was I think login at twenty twenty seven, I believe. So this one. Let's check now update password, and you can see uh, password updated. So let's just go ahead and try to actually log out. I uh, will just copy my email and log out. Okay, and I'm just going to try to log in one more time. So this is the email. Let me put in the old password and this login. And you can see wrong credentials. Uh, you put in 24 and yeah okay so that one is done and uh, we can change uh, the password and uh, it is working uh, properly uh, what it is uh, did we need to change uh, on the settings mm -hmm. uh, one thing that before i also forget sorry uh just going to go to file manager in a second but one thing i just need to work on was if you go to projects okay uh if you just go to projects um uh, let's just go to like this one edit uh oh, sorry i don't want to to edit here. Mm -hmm. This is what I wanted. Just to view the project. So if as you're just going to the project detail, if you check the schema, I just want to see in the project. So we have these, all these things, but just a date. And what is very surprising is that we don't have actually the website. <laughs> um, we have to have um, uh, the production domain and the development dom domain. So we have to have them really like placed somewhere here in a list in one of these cards or we can just like, create another card you have to have that okay well we have to have a a card showing um the domain okay so let me just first go ahead and create that card here uh, i can say v0 Uh, can you uh, create for me a, a card? Um, in my uh, project management system. I want to 
want to create, I want to show the website, uh, website domains for the for the uh, for the production um, for the production okay I want to to I want to to website the means for the for the project, uh, see uh, when we uh, do it for sale, and another uh, we the We just .com maybe. So just yes, going to see here. Can you create for me a card showing these uh, domains and uh, put icons uh, which and put editing. icons along to allow me edit uh, them if I want. Okay, we could also just like see the Vassail. Like if you just went to domains, okay. Uh, this this is you have to select here a project. Okay, if you just go here, you go to the project and you go like to your settings. You go to the main. Okay, so we have like these. Uh, cards. Uh, we have the one. Let's just like check one which has like the one which has like uh, maybe the dot com. So let me just get the one which has like the dot com, like this one and go to settings domains so okay now you can see where you have these with the edit button i think uh, let's see what v0 came up with uh, my project domains mm, i think those uh, they are good enough they have to be uh, links to the mm, let me see to this uh they are okay yeah so let me just uh, get this the card okay Just going to copy this. 
uh, just go to components so we can just like go to components they just say domain card domain uh, domain card dot tsx and just go ahead and have this okay uh you can just like to have this and the even this one yeah the details that are entering we don't need to put in those ones but i'm just going to come here uh, there is these edit icons and this one okay i'm just for now i'm just going to go ahead and pass in uh, let me pass in project data okay uh, just going to say project data is all type project data okay and uh, we don't need just to see here domains okay and then we don't have to uh, we're just going to have these so these ones we actually haven't put them in this so i don't know how they call these the names uh, there is this one of us here uh, so like we're just going to put like custom domain i think and the the another one just like maybe product uh i don't know the other one is just like are they free domain actually yes i put here two yeah so we have the custom domain and we have this one just going to call this one a free domain it does not necessarily mean it should be vassal so i'm just going to go to schema for a second and in the project we're just going to add in these two things. I don't know how we forgot to add these two ones. They're just like very crucial. So I'm just going to add to the free domain and the custom domain. Okay. Uh, just like this. I'm just going to go ahead. and the, now uh, stop this server and push those ones so i'm just going to say ctrl c i'm just going to say here uh, npx uh, prisma db push and npx and npm run dave okay so this one is going to update uh, is going to update that and the now going back to this domain card i'm just going to um, what do i want to do so the project data right now i'm just going to come here and i do project data dot okay let's first of all go to the project data also and try to add this uh, it comes from the types can i just uh, go to the types you can just say like this doesn't have actually 
this. I'm just going to come here and add it to the free uh, domain and the custom domain. Okay. So let's just go to where we are fetching this to actually make sure that it is uh, just in the case if we are fetching uh, in the projects. Uh, we have create gate user projects. Uh, let's see here. This one is I think the user projects, gate user guest projects get user members, get detailed user projects. Uh, is it this one where we actually select things and, and this one is not the, uh, it's not the one, uh, recent get user public update gate project by id it must be okay there is this one gate project details by slack it must be this one yeah so you can see it gets the uh, project where slack and we just include these ones okay i think uh, that one is cool we add in the client and that's it so uh, that one will be included by default. The only thing we just need to do was to update that. So going back to my domain card, uh, this is now going to be there. So you can just say now uh, dot, uh, okay, uh, did I just project data? What do I... Mm. Okay, so let me just uh, first do this. I'm just going to go ahead and call the domain card in the project detailed page. Project uh, detailed page. Okay. I just need to see what we are passing in others. So I have this grid. Um, there is a grid for the left and the right. main content just the what i want to search for was where we have these client details okay client client details here uh, where we have this card i'm just going to go ahead and also put the, the domain card Okay, so I just want to give it this. Okay, project. Oh, okay. I just want to give it uh, this client. Okay, just give this. Okay, just go here on this and you can just say project data and then here project data is of type project data. And then from here you can just like have project data dot free. Uh, this one is the free domain. And then this one it's going to be project uh, data dot custom domain. Okay. And then we have all these uh, icons. Okay. 
Um, just one project that uh, custom domain. Uh, similarly, for this edit was a uh, free domain. Maybe here going to be custom domain is going to be a uh, project that uh, dirt free domain okay um, so we need to do a couple functions uh, that we are going to help us update these things so basically um uh, basically right now uh, let me just say this even let me just remove this so that we can see it i don't know why this said it is still here okay uh, did you mean project data yeah okay uh, it is just like project data so if uh, right now, I think we're just going to see the card that is somehow empty, I believe. Uh, let's wait for it here. Okay, so then here you can have we have this uh, with uh, nothing. Uh, it doesn't have the domains. Okay, so what we can also do is um, uh, what we can uh, just going to do something here. Okay we'll do something here but for now okay uh, i'm just going to also i think make some updates here in the schema just for purposes of making this easy I'm just going to go to these. We have just added these. I'm just going to say add default. I'm just going to put HTTPS uh, test dot dot app. Similarly, I'm just going to put just for guiding the person this test.com okay we could just say yeah https test.vasir test.com i'm just going to one more time i'm just going to run this
Okay, so I uh, will just one more time run this. Um, you know, we're just going to work on these uh, buttons, uh, switching uh, states. Okay, so just going to have the free domain, uh, the, those two, because we cannot change them at once. We're just going to go to the forms that we have, for instance. Uh, let me remember which form. For instance, we have the description form. The description form is a good one, uh, like this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do we have any other forms that we can look at? Okay, let me just like duplicate the description form, just like so. So just going to have two, the free domain uh, form uh, here, free uh, domain uh, form. Okay, a initial description here is going to be just passing initial domain initial domain initial domain and this one is going to be now uh, free uh, the project props uh, let's just uh, add them uh, here just going to add the free domain and uh, custom domain just like this free domain and custom domain so going back to the free domain uh, so if you say free domain okay uh, so here is editing takes in the the thing here free uh, domain updated Okay, uh, here you just have to have a text input. I can just go to any of these, uh, any of the forms, and I just get a text input. Uh, this is going to be free domain name is free domain uh, this one is going to be let me just like look at the icon Rusted. uh we don't have the domain right but we have the link Okay, then I'm just going to put in this uh, the link icon. So you can just say come here, link. Okay, placeholder. Uh, do we need to put in any placeholder? Maybe test to do it. Versus, uh, you see, HTTPS. HTTPS test that was that up. Okay, uh, so this is the free domain. Okay, uh, similarly, 
I'm just going to go here, create another one, which is going to be custom uh, domain uh, form. And just the same thing. Here is going to be the custom uh, domain form, and then you can just uh, come here. It's going to be custom domain is the initial domain uh, here is going to be custom domain and the name here is going to change to custom domain and here is also custom domain uh, this is dot com okay uh, going back to To the custom card, domain cards are here. Uh, uh, we have the states. Uh, they just add here states const uh, so. I think like is editing free domain. I say free maybe set is editing free is equal to use uh, state just like this, and by default is going to be false. Okay, so is editing custom is editing custom. Okay, so first of all, we just need to switch between uh, the editing and okay. So first of all, I just want to. go here and the, we just going to this is like a free uh, the free domain uh, so uh, we have this button okay Uh, we can't put them in the same div, can we? Okay, I'm just going to go here first and they just say is editing free. So if its editing is true, then we need to show here something. Uh, if its editing is true, then we're just going to show uh, a component of free domain form. Else, uh, we show this. So for the uh, free domain form, we're just going to pass in, if you look at it, editing ID plus the initial domain. So just say editing ID, which is going to be uh, project data dot, for, uh, dot ID actually. And then for the initial domain is going to be project data dot free domain. And similarly, uh, you can also just say that uh, here, uh, control C, and we can just say cut actually, and it's like if is is editing free is true, we can show one button. And then here we can show another one. 
So we just want to uh, here we would want to maybe maybe actually like do we need to show like a cross a cross one? I don't think so, but You could just show the cross icon. Okay, so X. Okay. Could show like X from Russet. I don't know if it is actually necessary. Let's first look at that. Just going to reload. Okay, so down here, oh. Uh, not yet. Mm. Okay, we haven't actually added on a click for the buttons. So for this, uh, let's just see the edit on a click. You just have to get and say it uh, is editing free to uh, true. Okay, and this one uh, for now. Okay, uh, to force. Okay, I don't know. Okay. If we just go here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and click edit. Okay, so you can see now this uh, shows up. I don't think like we need this X. Um, for some reason, I just first actually don't show it. Uh, we can just say if it is this and and so you can just say use and 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 then we can go ahead and remove this here let's see What? Oh, uh, we are supposed to if is editing. I just going to do this, and the button still we are not showing supposed to this one. So let just okay. So you can see. Oh. Okay. So even if um, it, it doesn't fit in here, uh, I don't know why. Just going to first do this. I just want to see BG uh, red. 
Right. I just want to see the occupy the space. Okay. Uh, so can we just say with is full? Yeah. Uh, to make sure that that is a with is full. So now I can remove it. With this four. Okay, so you can just update now the domain. And maybe the actually close icon would be just right there uh, with the heading. So uh, this button. I'm just going to copy this and you can just go to where there is a title. So where is the title here? And uh, as we are editing, I'm seeing the free domain. Oh, okay. This is on actually uh, on the form. Okay, it is actually on the um it is actually on the form uh, okay so let's just say here i just see uh, the flakes they have like here h2 is free uh, domain and this Uh, we don't need to do this. Okay. Uh, I just want to see. Uh, okay, okay. First of all, let's go to this free domain. We don't need to pass in any uh, label, they uh, just pass in an empty label here. Uh, so to just like remove it now, we remain with this. And if I just go back, and uh, this is going to be with an X, and this is setting to false. <coughs> okay, yeah, and they just give it. Uh, here items items send okay uh, great so you can just say uh, close out this you can open now what i'm wondering is so you pass in this and update So just going to do similar to this other domain. Uh, I'm wondering why we are not having the other ones. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing for uh, for the custom domain. So basically, I'm going to do is, so these are the same. I'll just simply remove this. I will just simply duplicate this. And let's edit it. And this is going to be if is 
is editing custom. This is custom. And this is going to be set is editing custom. And this one is going to be custom. You can also just go ahead and remove this okay uh, this one is custom uh, this is custom uh, this is custom And this is his editing custom. <laughs> okay, so that's great. And I'm just going to go here and click on this. And you can see that like, this is the custom domain. Okay, so for now, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, if I go to <laughs> NPX Prisma Studio. I just want to go to see a project. So we just like go here and we see like uh, projects. Okay. And I'm just going to go like the one we just opened here. About an image. Okay. So right now you can't see the uh, actually empty even when I put the default does it even count I think if you just say like it is not required and you put a default I think it doesn't really actually count such let me just confirm my post uh, here just to be aware. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to refresh. Okay, so I've confirmed that it doesn't. So for instance, this one, we already have the, the domain. So I'm just going to go here and copy this domain. Let's go ahead and update this. Like so. Now, uh, one thing we have just to confirm with also is the forms. Uh, let's just go and confirm like we have the free domain form. What is it doing exactly? Uh, we get the data and then we are pushing this to update. Then we pass in the data. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and try this uh, update. Okay, you can see it has actually uh, updated.
okay we don't have the custom domain yet but when we add it it will also just go here now another thing we have just to make this to be clickable okay so to make sure that one is clickable i'm just going to go to where am i going to go to okay domain card so domain card so instead of just like making these ones this just make this as a link okay i just make it as a ring a link from next link i'm just going to make this h wave and the link of course is project data dot free domain so you can just say by a hash so you're just going to put the hash if it is not there i will also put target uh, target is going to make target blank okay uh, let's see this should just like remain exactly the same but just turns into it turns into a link as you can see here okay uh basically the same thing i'm just going to do to the other one i'm just going to copy this just down here uh, to this just change this to custom domain okay uh now i'm just going to place on this so you can see it actually opens up just like so so this is good uh, it was bothering me but now they are there so let's move very fast to other things that we are completing okay uh, there is one thing though that i need to add I just need to add that uh, is about payments. So I don't know if I should just like add it to this side. Uh, it's why I have like the payments. Um, I think I should just add it the other side uh, on the project details. So for instance, on this project, there is one project which is this one uh, which on the payment someone added a false payment this one right so i just need to add a delete uh, button where i should be able to actually delete a payment so let me just add that very quickly I'm just going to go to custom uh, project, sorry, project detail page. I would want to see where we have invoices and payments. So just go here, actually control A, invoices and payments just here. We have the payment form and down here we have the payments and if you check on this uh, where we have the view so we have where we have the payments see and the invoices okay uh, it doesn't matter where we put this whether on the payments whether on the invoices uh like you can just like add an icon just uh on this i'm just going to go down to where we have the payments so where we have this uh, this one 
I'm just going to cut this and add this in flex the items uh, center and I will add this plus another uh, button so I will just add another button but before you add this button so let me just go here the delete uh, button I'm just going to create this invoice delete button a uh, payment delete button it doesn't matter you can just uh, create it anywhere uh, payment payment uh, payment delete uh, button the tsx rfc okay i'm just going to have uh, just a normal button i think and let me just add a either a trash okay just going to add this trash too uh, just trash two just like this so you can just like go here give this a class name or text uh, red 500 and this class name give it with this 05505 okay now we can just like bring this payment bring it project detail uh, here okay uh, the only thing I just want to, to do is I think I need to pass in the ID. So I'm just going to say uh, payment ID, uh, payment ID is equal to uh, payment dot id just like this and let's go to this side and uh, let's accept this payment id is going to be payment id which is a string like so and let's see how this uh, fits in okay that's how it looks like so we can just give this a margin left of two just add some little space in this so the icon just give it yeah, actually four it just looks like a little bit bigger yeah so that's what i think uh very much okay and we don't actually need a set but the div just add this direct like this and then for here we actually want to add okay item center which is already there so when you click want to delete this payment first of all let's go to payments and we create a delete so under payments so we have this delete payment And you take in the ID and delete it. Payment is going to be equal to await. So this DB dot payment where ID and here just going to say deleted uh, deleted payment okay so i'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, just to the payment delete button and just go here and say async function uh, and uh, delete so just going to come here and just do a try catch also delete uh, sorry 
error. And they just say const here. And we could just say await here, delete payment, and this person the ID. Okay, this is the payment ID, sorry. Just pass in the payment ID, just like this. And we can just uh, const uh, response. Okay, and we can just come here and say if response. The, okay. Then we can just say toast, just say toast. Do it success. Uh, payment deleted. Uh, successfully. Okay, now, uh, you know, if we should just uh, wrap it in the, uh, in the, where we ask if it is, I'm not sure if uh, it is required, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. So I want to try and see so this handle delete is going to run on click so here on click click handle delete and one thing that you want to do is on this we can also just go ahead and we say before the return we can just say revalidate a path and we're just going to put like dashboard uh, dashboard uh, projects is this like project the uh, dashboard projects so or the project this is like pro okay. um, I'm just going to see um, refresh and let's try Okay, payments. I'm just going to try to delete the second one. Okay, payment deleted. And if you just look at this, it's gone. And this one goes actually back. Okay, uh, that's great. So the invoices, all uh, the payments can be managed also or deleted. Uh, you could also, of course, go ahead and add the edit you since you have this add new you can also have the edit here but i'm not going to add it at this point so just go here we still have a lot to go on so i'm just going to straight uh away go to um, just want to go straight to the uh, portfolio i just want to finish portfolio right now so right now on this portfolio page we didn't do anything but yesterday we had a page we had started on which was actually slash portfolio which we just actually need to uh, finish and work on first of all uh, we just need to get a nice uh, to link to this uh, to this user and also we just need to create why you can add this. I think let's start with that. So to, uh, let me start by creating, uh, if you look at this, we just need to create a something which takes in uh, this. Uh, I don't know, you could just also just like receive subscribers uh, we can just like put this functionality whereby you can receive your subscribers for mailing purposes. Okay. Um, we're just going to go to 
this uh, first of all let's first work on the link to go to this place uh, so we just need to really put it in a good way um, so how can i put this Yes, I'm just looking for creating like a page. So let's first go back here. So basically, I need to place this portfolio, the one we did yesterday, I need to put it in a specific place. Okay. And let me just first go back here to show you what I'm talking about. So it can not just be like direct like this, because why do we just like here getting in this uh, this is going to be where you're going to get this because on this page the person is not going to be logged in it's going to be a private actually a guest person who has no account who is actually viewing this portfolio so it's not going to be here so in other words inside the uh, this uh, the portfolio we just need to have, for instance, uh, www.projectpro.com slash uh, the username accompanied by ID. So I'm just going to just go here. Okay. I'm just go accompanied uh, here. Let me see. Uh, instead here, I'm just going to add a new. So I'm just going to go ahead and expect the slug just like this. And inside the slug, we can put the. Okay, so this is in a portfolio slug and the. Okay, for starters, I'm just going to go to, let me just simply go to Where do I need to go? I need to go to Next.js Docs I Just search for Parans here on the page params i just need to again copy this just paste them here okay so first of all we're just going to be getting the user id from the params so i'm just going to come here and i say const Okay, so we just now might just say this const and then you abstract the parameter you want. For instance, you're just going to be attaching ID and we just going to say Oh, by the way, uh, can we just um, let me see? Okay, so I'm just going to say ID is equal to search uh, params. Okay. Uh, we can just go here. And we just like default this to empty. I'm just going to say if no ID, if no ID, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, return not found function just like this. Okay, so when this ID is now gotten, is what we are going to pass here as ID. 
let's say id as spring okay just like this now we don't need this at any point okay so we don't need to search the slug we actually don't need the slug this is the only id we are interested in the other one is for purposes of routing okay so how are we getting to this okay mm. I'm still thinking. So we need to have first of all a form, okay. On that, uh, on this portfolio, we need to have a form where you can edit, okay. Uh, where you can edit. So let me just go to the portfolio. in the dashboard uh, portfolio just page and this is where we have this so just give this a class name just give it a padding of eight for now so what i just want is um, <coughs> So you just need to create a header. I can just go here to, let me just first go here, docs. Just going to click on uh, this. You can just, I'm just going to have here a, like, this like h2 okay i'm just going to copy this i will just create here a flex so like dot flex uh i just have the border b dot items center do just five between so i'm just going to add this and also i will just add a button just going to add a button i don't know from compliance ui uh, this is going to be like preview okay uh, this is going to be like a uh, preview uh, and the just think we're going to be like having like two buttons where you can preview and then the share in fact and the copy link so here just going to add another flex uh, where you can have this another one's going to be like copy uh, the link or something and then you're just going to, I think, put like your name. No, oh, just like you say here, customize your portfolio. Okay. Uh, let's see so far. So we have this. I'm just going to go down here where we have Padding bottom of maybe three. Okay, and then uh, just for okay, you're just going to have gap of four, and then for this one, we don't need actually a border P. Yeah. And also padding bottom is not required. Okay, so yeah, uh, this looks cool. Um, so down here, just going to have, uh, we're just going to have this, 
a the form for customizing your portfolio so i think let's start by clicking on this and you can go to that page so here on the preview uh, basically what i just need to do is why now i get this uh const uh const user is equal to await you get both user just like this it's going to make this async okay async and the, so here in the preview is going to be a link it's going to be a link just like this href okay uh, make sure the link is imported from next link you can see here as child and then here you can also have like the preview and inside here let's just say it's going to take you to Um, to so it will take you to the portfolio portfolio okay slash so you're supposed to have a slag here uh can you just have i think we have already a function for slagging so for instance const slag is equal to get slag uh, generate slack okay from name so you can just like use dot name you can pass this so you can just like get this slug um, okay from the name and you can just come and put this slug here dollar uh, slug okay uh you can just say like, default it is the word slug um, okay uh, then preview so this slug and then uh is going to be attached with id so i'm just going to say id is equal to uh, dollar user dot id just like this okay let's try this to just open another tab so i'm just going to type for target and i'm just going to say underscore blank okay uh, refresh just want to hover and if you tap on this let us just wait and see okay so you can see it is still actually giving you uh, the thing okay uh, yeah so you can just say uh, here the portfolio and then we have uh, uh, this and looking uh, awesome so that is good okay so next now uh, the copy we just like work on the copy to be something uh, we don't have to mind about right now so what I just want is actually to work on customizing this and where to we are going to actually keep all this. Okay. So you can see the two things we need to actually work on is where you're going to add your these uh, your links for social media uh twitter uh, instagram linkedin and instagram those ones are okay okay so um i'm just going to 
Uh, you can just like take a screenshot uh, if um, just take a screenshot of this okay copy i just go to visual and it uh please create for me a prisma model so you say a prisma model uh, called uh, user uh, portfolio Uh, portfolio profile as you see, you see here portfolio uh, profile for the data uh, you see for uh, updating the data in the image and then I'm just going to paste the image. Okay, just let's just see what it can do. Uh, for the subscribers, uh, we don't need to. You can see here email subscribers. Uh, which should I think I be? Um, for it, it should just be another thing. Uh, we can just create a email uh, subscribers. In fact, just say email uh, create. Uh, a different uh, model uh, for the uh, subscribers okay subscribers and and uh, create a relationship a one to one actually just like a one to an uh, relationship uh, for uh, or between between portfolio between the portfolio profile and user and also between subscriber and user okay uh, this is how you should just like be uh, simplifying uh, your work i can just copy this put for your profile let's go to the schema Mm, just go to the schema so below the user i just need to see where the user is here below go and create this other one called uh, first of all let's copy the id and this uh, the id here okay now we have to create this so use id and then this uh here uh, so as you can see in the user you simply need to put this okay it is a one-to-one -one. so a one you a user one user can have one portfolio profile you cannot have many portfolio profiles and this is going to be at unique uh, you have also to have, let me see here, db, uh, db.objectid. So add 
db so this one is going to be at db the object id okay so why are we having this one at relation a one-to-one -one must use unique field okay so that's why we are having this if i hover now must have the same native user type for okay adding a db so it should like add a db oh sorry i don't need to remove this just need to add at db dot object id just like that okay so similarly we're just going to create the subscriber right um, uh, so the subscriber is going to be in the email format so i'm just also going to put it down here like this okay uh studying. this is going to be email at uh, the same as that uh, subscriber is going to be for the uh, emails and then here is going to have use uh, uh let's just do the same thing here just go to this and let's add the subscriber so i can just go to this and this uh, down here subscriber and also let's use this uh, user to be unique and add object id like so and finally uh, let's add its id to be just like this okay uh that sounds really great i just was see subscribed at updated at i'm just going to use to uh, use created at uh, email and then the user id so that we can just uh, get these okay uh that's really great okay mm. so what other things let's just first look at the portfolio profile we need the name location monthly income read account book title description okay as we don't need them let just say like look at this okay what would be important location is okay mm, monthly income no you're just going to add the project count like how many projects uh, that person has okay uh, then so location this one is i'm just going to add this as project count like how many projects do you have okay then uh, for this one I share how I find the startup ID range first and get possible. Okay. Um, description, which is okay. Now for this read account and book title, what statistics can we add here? They just first go to like my portfolio. Maybe I could just get like some ideas there. So we have, oh, we need to have also GitHub. So the icons are going to be five. 
Ok. Siv. Ele é Drake. We might just instead like add a calendar booking. Yeah. Uh, I just going to yeah, I just like booking booking link actually I'm just going to add this booking link instead so then I might just like add buttons actually so down here we might just like add also two buttons instead of like shift it we may just like add uh book me Oh, another one would be uh, like I think the email. Yeah, I'm just going to add two buttons: the one for booking and the mailing. So, meaning that we just need the email. So this is also a string. Okay. Uh, project count. I think this one's enough. We're just going to add one link, which is going to be GitHub. GitHub URL GitHub. So uh, a list. So assuming those ones will be enough. Uh, those ones will be enough. Uh, let's go and the uh, um. I think create a form. So I'm just going to post this. Now we have the subscribers. I think that is good enough. So I'm just going to go down here uh, where we have this. We have to stop both of them, even this one. Just go ahead and push this. And uh, when it's doing this, I'm just going to create a form for that. So I will copy the form. Okay. Uh, we have the settings form we're just going to use that one and the settings oh, i just say form we have a lot of forms here Okay, I'm just going to go to settings. Like the brand form. Okay. Oh, there is a profile image. Did you see that in the schema we don't have the profile image? I don't know how we did this. There is a name, but there is no profile image. Uh, profile image, uh, which is going to be a string, but it's not going to be required. So I just like created profile image like that. So I will stop it one more time and update. So I was checking on the brand form, uh, which is actually the perfect. So copy this, in fact, duplicate brand form to portfolio, portfolio, profile, portfolio. Portfolio, I just say portfolio form. Okay, just come here. Uh, portfolio 
form. Go ahead and copy this. You can just go to you on the portfolio page here. So after this down here, just gonna say dot padding four or six. Then here you can just say go ahead and add the portfolio like this. Okay. So we could just uh, go ahead and provide in the editing ID and this. And this editing ID would be the, of course, the portfolio uh, editing ID, I guess. Okay. So that one would be gotten from first getting the user portfolio on this page using the ID of that user. So we could just go ahead and the so in the first place they just go ahead and say that there is no any portfolio. So these ones will have both. We need to get the other part. Uh, where can I get the other part? Just go like to project form. I just need to get the second part. Okay, the second part of this. If editing, then we have the errors part. Okay, and just say control C. Okay, um, you can just say like, do your errors part uh, here. Uh, just going to go back here. So can you have like errors? And then things are going to go in here. Okay, so most especially the set loading for these ones. Okay, like starting from here, I can go ahead and do all these. So we just need to have create profile. So uh, before this, um, I'm just going to go like maybe duplicate one of these. I don't know which one. Just say tasks. I'm just going to rename this to portfolio. Portfolio. So we just need to create the first one is we need a few things here. Um, okay, create here. I'm just going to say create uh, portfolio profile for T for profile. Now the data we need, I'm just going to go to the schema. Uh, it's too much data, but we're just going to handle it. We need the user ID, 
name, image, location, projects, email, booking link, description, YouTube, all these ones. Okay, control C. And we can just go to types. And we can just come here and we just say export type uh, for the Oops. Okay, so all these ones are uh, uh, just for now. All these ones are a string. And then, except I think the project count is a number. Okay. Just, we just need this in the portfolio here, like this. Okay. Data should be of that. So, new, okay, new portfolio. is equal db dot uh, portfolio profile uh, like portfolio item from where okay portfolio profile dot create and then you pass in the data revalidate uh, where are we supposed to revalidate Maybe we just select, we could do a date portfolio. A return new portfolio. Okay, let's go and work with this one. Uh, in the first place, uh, we need, of course, another one to update the portfolio. Uh, let's do both of them at once. So, uh, another one. Could just go here for update. Okay. Okay, so down here, let's add update. So update portfolio. Okay, so you pass the ID data. Data is going to be of updated uh, portfolio is what I will return and for now here we're just going to say portfolio okay uh, let's go ahead Uh, start with the create so inside the uh, inside the put can I just say portfolio form just going to start with the create uh, this the data is going to be not right so you can just come here and we pass in the data one which is a put 
for your props. Come here and here. Okay. So we have to bring in all the data uh, in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have the email. So I'm just going to go to this. Okay, copy everything. Just copy like this. And then uh, let's go back to the form. And under here, I'm just going to paste it here. Okay. So just going to start with the ones which are there. Email is there. Is there anything else? Let's first remove the phone. Country is not there. Mm, I wonder the country. The country should be there. Like, okay, just going to put it under location. So uh, we have location. Uh, then here, there is no description so this one can be maybe description uh, as if we had description somewhere this one and initial data is going to be uh, the initial data is going to be for Portfolio profile. Okay. Okay, so now uh, use ID, we don't need to have it here. The name, so we can just like say name. So we can remove the name. You don't have to have the portfolio uh, profile image here. Uh, location, we already have it. Project count, no. Okay, uh, of course this one is going to be here, so. Project, sorry. Uh, project uh, project count uh, he is going to give it zero remove it booking link so we can just click on here booking link remove this description and now we have uh, we have a like twitter link so uh, twitter Your uh, okay. Then we have the YouTube URL. Okay. Uh, we have the LinkedIn URL. So here. LinkedIn URL uh, then we have the Instagram Instagram URL and finally we have the GitHub URL so here 
the git uh, the git error git error okay so in the outside minimal we have the image so here initial data dot profile image and then that is good so here's going to be data dot profile image uh, there is another one uh, use id of course that one is going to be uh, there will be some other data which will be entering here not necessarily the initial data but the like the user data i believe okay so we'll be bringing in actual session so i will just say session which is going to be from session okay or null and then you can get it from session and from the session of course we could just say const user is equal to session the user from here you can just get the id for instance data dot so that dot user id is going to be equal to user dot id okay uh, uh, for this one is going to be update uh, portfolio by id and then for this one is going to be create portfolio so let's go to the form now uh, we need a form of two two so this i believe we're just putting this in here uh, let's just see what do we have here portfolio and it pass in a couple of things the first of all session okay so we could just uh, const session is equal to await get server session and this pass in the auth options and we can pass in here session sorry session okay uh, so we have this uh, this is customizing uh, first of all like this image is going to be called this one is the profile uh, like that i don't know if you just uh, create a new endpoint for this and just go to uh, okay we just go to the app uh, api upload thing okay you can just like duplicate this and this one is going to be like a profile image just copy it and let's go back to the portfolio form and we can update it here okay uh, profile image okay this one is uh, 
portfolio. Okay. Uh, it's your wave. I don't know, like, uh, let me first leave that one. So you need to make these ones two, two. There is email address and phone number. So you're just going to start from the talk, I believe. Email and location. So just go here, email is okay, and location. Uh, just going to swap here, email and uh, said here, I'm just going to say location. Even here, location, I can just leave the flag, e.g. just like this. Let me see, email and location, that's great. Let's go and see others. Then there is name and the project count. Yes, add another one. It's going to be like uh, name, full name. This is your name, and then of course this one is going to be the user, and then this one is always uh, John Doe. Text input, okay, location, already have it. So this is going to be number of projects. And here we can just get these number of projects is project current. Uh, for this, like you can set them for this uh, project count icon. Yes, they have to grid. Uh, I also give the type okay, to be number. Okay, so what is Full name and number of projects. Uh, what else? What else? Okay. Uh, if you just go back up here, uh, we have a description which will be last down. Okay, we have the, now the booking link and the Twitter link. So just start now putting these other links. So I will duplicate this. I'm just going to see here Google. Here in the booking, maybe link, and then here booking, booking link, uh, this will be link, okay. Uh, the another one is Set with Twitter, Twitter uh, URL, Twitter URL, the type, 
Uh, so we are just going to leave the placeholders. Okay, so duplicate this. Okay, you will have next is going to be LinkedIn link, LinkedIn link, even is going to be LinkedIn URL. is going to be like LinkedIn actually even here it would be like Twitter like Twitter okay okay next is going to be Instagram so here is going to be Instagram URL. Okay, let's just duplicate this. Okay. Uh, let's just go here and see the links that are remaining. Okay, YouTube and github youtube and github okay GitHub. Okay. Uh, good. And the uh, down here, I'm just going to remove this. And I need to place uh, with a text area. Where am I going to get a text area from? the description form okay uh, this here here right it's more Write the summary statement. Statement. Let's see how this looks like. It must be looking terrible, but we have no, uh, no chase. Uh, we just need all this data for your portfolio. Okay. Uh, this looks good. Now we need to get some suggestions uh, from your user profile. So here, I'm just also going to, so from this, uh, from the session, we can also prefill some data. So where do we put this uh, data so that it can be somehow helpful? Let me just cut this and I put it here so we we'll just say it is initial data or uh, for this is going to be from user dot email okay user dot email uh, location is not there description name we can get the name user dot name you can just get this project count no uh, booking link tweet uh, i think we can just uh, get only those two uh, things 
uh, we could also get the projects. The fact that you have the projects, uh, we could just create there some personal. You could just create here some personal pro other projects, I think. So while we have get user projects like this, we could just also get user project actually count. Get user projects count. Uh, like gives you just the actual number so here instead of saying uh, db dot dot find many we just say dot count okay just like this and you don't need to pass in uh i think for the where we don't need order by i think here we should just like have a like count like this should just return back the count and this we can call it in the portfolio side no not portfolio dashboard dashboard uh, portfolio page so we could also pass in that uh, so here const Count is going to be get okay. Let's pass in the user ID, user dot user dot ID. Okay, now we can also pass this count here. Count okay is equal to count uh, I believe this returns like a number or something yeah and the, this can just give it a default of zero I'm just going to go count yeah count is a number Okay, and then we can just use this count on the projects instead of zero. Let's put count. Okay, so this is just like twenty pass, like prefer some information for us, so you can see at least the image there, the name, and the number of projects. Yeah, so the any projects you can see here they i think they are 10 do you think we have 10 no uh, i don't know i fear the project on this Press order. Does this need a press order? Let's first remove like the press order. It's just a give us. I just like the the count. I don't know why it is not giving us like the count. Can I just like anywhere here put this like h2 of count like what is current carrying right now i just want to see what yeah it actually has a six here okay so why is it that is not Uh, being applied okay let me just say default count does this 
Evet. Neden o? Like original what I'm seeing here is that it is not. Let me just remove the type. I don't know why it is. It is not showing. Because they think actually, oh, object promise, but it is showing uh, six. Uh, Uh, uh sorry i'm just supposed to leave it here where were we just like passing it here in the portfolio so the count here something is not a uh, promise number is not saying about type number so i'm not sure what actually okay i wait okay all right so you can just like do this okay so if we put back so we can just remove this and we can just uh, we can just also put back this you see type number does it stop it from being okay it is just okay okay so just go ahead and try to actually update this and we see um location just going to put Kampala Uganda Google calendar link and you can just come here copy this Uh, bring it uh, here uh, Twitter uh, Twitter just copy from here also copy okay uh, LinkedIn the same thing I may copy from here LinkedIn Uh, where is LinkedIn? Uh, we feed in the other side. LinkedIn, Instagram, same thing here. Instagram. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any Instagram, so I'm just going to put like a hash, and then like YouTube. Okay, copy like YouTube. And then uh, GitHub, the GitHub, and the summary statement. Okay, what is the summary statement? Okay, applying developer script, uh, simplify the concept and share it. Okay, uh, copy this and I'm just going to use it here. Okay, so I have no idea if this can actually work, and then I'm just going to copy, get my image, save it. Okay, okay, I'm just going to go here. I upload the same image here. Okay, so let's just go and save profile. Something is not right. Okay, something is not right. Uh, 
Uh, it would be good if we console.log. Uh, we can just say go npx Prisma Studio. We could just go here and check. Uh, we have the, the uh, portfolio. I don't know like why we have portfolio item from where. So there is no anything here. Uh, first of all, they we didn't convert the number of project, the project count here. So data dot project count uh, is equal to number of data dot project count, just like this. Okay. Um, for now, I'm just going to try the dummy data. See if if they work. I'm not going to try the actual information. Save. Okay. I just need to check this side. Okay, it was created. You can see here. Now let's go ahead and delete this. Okay, now let's just like put the actual one. Uh, this project six, let me leave six there. Okay, and the booking, Twitter, uh, this Instagram, GitHub, YouTube, uh, this, now the summary, just copy this. Okay, copy this like that. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's put my image. Okay. Okay, save. Okay, so we need to have that information as initial data here. So just go ahead and get the initial data. And to get initial data, we need to go back to the portfolio here and we need to do something called, so we need to get a get, okay? So we have to get get portfolio by id so put folio by user id by user id so you pass in the user id yeah use id that's the only thing actually required and then we just can here get the it's going to create data for now. DB dot portfolio profile dot actually get. Is it get or find fast or unique? We could find actually unique where user ID. Okay. Uh, there is no data here. And we could just return here data. Okay, uh, revise it. Yeah, I can just revise this portfolio. It has no problem. So just go ahead and try this. Insert the dashboard portfolio page. We have a lot of information going on here, but it's okay. So we can just like, get const. Uh, initial data 
is equal to a weight. Let's pass in user dot id. Okay. And you can just say like this. So let's get this initial data. Let's pass it in here. Initial data like this. And for the editing ID, so we can also pass in editing ID as initial data dot ID like this. So now I just want to refresh. I should have all the information back. Okay, you can see we have all the information back, which is really, really great. Okay, uh, now the next thing is to populate this on this page uh, here. So when it comes to this page, as you can see, when you send to this page, we need also to go ahead and get this data using this ID. So I will do the same thing by getting this. Okay. And let's go to that place. Uh, the place is outside portfolio slug here. So after getting this, you can get the projects. You can also get the portfolio. Um, we could just call this profile or something, profile. And then pass in this. And here we're just going to pass in ID as a string. As string just like this we get a portfolio and let's pass it in into this just like this sorry mm. oh Uh, we are just going to the portfolio here is going to be uh, type of portfolio profile. Now we can start actually by start off by this giving the image uh, profile dot a profile image and we can just give this by a press order dot svg alt is going to be the name so it's going to be here profile dot name and then here we put actual name Uh, profile dot name okay the location is profile dot location uh, this one is the projects uh, profile dot project count projects and then here this is where we have the two buttons so I will just uh, bling flex uh, items uh, center so just need to add the two buttons they are all links just static button So let's put a link. So the first one you want to put 
you got an appointment. Uh, HRF. Okay. This one as said. Uh, just going to have another one. Uh, this one is is going to be like mail. Mail me, and this one is going to have. Uh, I think we have also the mail somewhere. I don't know. Did we write the mail somewhere? Yeah, this one. I'm just going to copy also the link. Uh, so here. So you have to put uh, these two. I can just like put this uh, in this. Uh, if you think want a person to open, of course, Google. If you don't want, you don't have to do this. You can just put a mail to just uh this uh, just going to add here to as a profile email the body text there and just say here subject and then uh, here we have project a uh, profile uh, description now we have this may subscribe thing uh, which is going to be uh, done then for these ones it's going to be like actually links so we can just add like a link sorry it's going on uh, just like this. Uh, Twitter, so just going to say HRAF. Profile dot Twitter URL. And we can just do this. Now, I just want to see uh, how this it is going. Refresh should have some information at this point. Okay, no bad, no bad. Uh, the buttons. Can I first get the buttons correct? Uh, a gap of maybe three and I just want to give this a variant of outline so okay and I will just give them also a appointment uh, the icons so Uh, for the mail, I just say mail here. Let's give it a class name. MR2. Okay, it is, yeah. With this of 4H04. Yeah. And the appointment. Uh, you can just go and receipt and you can say book. Actually, yes, here we just need a key calendar. Just like to, yeah, calendar. 
So we can just really go inside here. Here, just going to add parent. Okay, let's give it a class name. MRO2 with this for height for and for this the link here is the booking link profile the booking link okay and let's just go ahead and try like we left some space uh, let's first see this page let's just make this seven we still have this nothing okay um if it is now What we are going to do is we could just actually hide this if you don't have any portfolio. If you haven't created, then uh, we could just say uh, if portfolio. Okay, profile, not profile, profile. And profile. Good. ID. And then this. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and add some padding on this. Okay, and maybe I'm just going to make this uh, two lines. I'm just going to go here where we have the description. First over here, here, I'm just going to add the like padding of Y of three. And let's also give this a line clamp of maybe two or three, I don't know. Let's see here, it is like a four, just like make it three. Mm, doesn't look good. It's because of this margin bottom, I believe. Uh, still looks, it still looks weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, we just leave it like that and we first scene. Uh, and the email we just work on it so yes work on the links i think these the links they they are fine so simply uh, change the icons this is for youtube uh, this is youtube your uh, duplicate uh, LinkedIn uh, 
he's going to be linked in. And then we're remaining with two, so uh, we have the Instagram. I'm just going to put Instagram and here change to Instagram. And finally, we're just going to have GitHub. And even this one is going to be GitHub. Okay, so if you just go back here, we have now all uh, the links. Okay, we have all the links that if you want, can give them colors, but I'm just okay with those. Uh, these ones. So yeah, you can see the page is okay. Now it doesn't say that we could make the image circular. Uh, you can also think about uh, maybe design it in a different way here. Uh, instead of giving it, uh, where is it? Here, you could, um, let me see. You could also just like give, you know, with this, this way. Uh, can I just say like rounded? And uh, three Excel, maybe. Okay. So you should just like consider like uh, if you want your image to to have a look. Okay. I don't know if uh, you want it complete the whole the whole screen or that is like too huge. We could just like go back to this. I think this one looks like much better. Okay, so I'm just going to now work on the subscribers. If you click on this subscribe, and the easy way we can do that is abstracting that. And by the way, this can give you take image from next image. The only thing you need to do is give it some width. Let me just see here, maybe 800 by 800. Does it even reach 800? You know, the original image was like about 640. Okay, I'm just going to go here and say 6. Okay. Which of this one is five hundred total? Okay. Mm. I think this page is done. The only thing I'm just remaining with is this subscribe thing, of which I'm just going to get and take it somewhere. So copy. I'm just going to put here a subscribe and this go to components. I could just say here subscribe form. The TSX. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to copy an actual, uh, I mean, the, the, the form, like with a single button or something. One of the forms we created, uh, like the 
free domain form. Now we could just say go to subscribe here and let's add this. Okay, the difference is that this one we don't actually expect to. Oh, okay, we expect to actually get the initial. Uh, they just need to get the only the ID, not necessarily the editing ID, but okay, there is no need of even if editing because the editing is not going to be there. The only thing we just need, I think, is the user ID. User ID. Okay, uh, user ID, uh, then the user ID is going to be user ID. There is no initial domain or any initial data. And for the props, uh, use uh, just going to click here, type subscriber probes. We just need email, is a string, and another one is going to be the user ID, which is a string. Okay, so just get here like this. Subscriber, this is going to be, for instance, the email. There is even no need of, uh, there is no need of the default values. Okay. Uh, this one is going to be create inside the form. Uh, okay. Uh, make sure that here you also have this subscriber. Uh, this one is going to be email. There is no need of the label. Gender at gmail.com submit button okay we have two errors and they come from this okay uh, can I just now take this and equal it subscriber subscribe form Okay, I can just go to I even don't know where this is located. Okay. Okay, so where we have this subscribe form, I can just I can here like add this. Okay. And we can pass in the user ID. Which is actually equal to um, we have already profile. Okay. Okay, on the profile we have also the user ID, so you can just get it from either the profile. So I can just say now that it's going to be profile user ID just like this. 
and the let's see okay it has some colors here that we might just use i don't know if it is even necessary the bg yellow text Could we'll just like copy this button. Just go ahead and comment this. And let's go to the subscribe form. So in the submit, I think this one takes also the class name, right? Yeah, you just say class name. You pass in this. And let's go and see. Okay, test this weird. Um, for this case, the form and this they need to be in flex, right? So I'm just going to go to uh, first of all, we could just like add a hover here, okay, and we say that bg yellow 600 okay that is going to be subscribed and here is going to be a command And this is going to be now flex, okay, flex item center. Uh, let's go and see. Okay. Uh, I just go ahead and give it maybe some padding or something. So padding button of four. Just push the icons, and this I don't know. It has item center, but seems somewhere. Like one of them has. Okay, I think it's because they have maybe different or something. The subscribe is maybe we put which icon now on the subscribe. I don't know, you could also just like put an icon of okay. uh, button icon. You could just show like the made icon. Okay. Um just going to leave it at that. That looks cool. The, the text input looks like it has, you know, like a margin bottom or something. Okay, let's go ahead and create the subscriber thing. It is exactly the way we did for the portfolio. So I'll just go here. And to get rename this to sub subscribe, and this is going to be create subscription or something. We will just like say subscribe or subscription. Sub subscription. Data is going to be of type uh, that is going to be of subscribe props. Somewhere, just like uh, what did I do? In the subscribe form, what is the data here? Subscriber props. Okay. Okay, so make sure that we actually 
export this. Okay. So you can subscribe. Just import this. Okay. Subscriber is then this is going to be subscribe. I create that. Uh, uh, we're just going to have a dashboard subscribers. Okay. And we can get, uh, we don't need to update. Uh, we just need to get subscribe user. Uh, actually, I just need to get get user subscribers. Get user subscribers, and you just pass in the user ID, and then he's going to be subscriber. Do find many. Okay, where user ID, and we can return that data. Revert it. Uh, dashboard subscribers dashboard subscribers okay um, I'm just going to go to the form subscribe here we have a subscriber we pass in the id now this one is going to be actually required okay and this one is create subscription create subscription we pass in the data uh, wait. So you can just say that the user ID is equal to user ID. Okay, you could just say by default it's going to be like that. And that means if we pass in data here. Just going to do one thing here on create. We could first abstract here const user ID is equal data dot user ID, and you could just say uh, only if there is. If we have the user ID, like if we have the user ID, then we can do this. Go in the form, we just set the user ID, set loading, create subscription. This is going to be Maybe subscribe. Okay, subscribe. Let's go to the phone here and we just say subscribe. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and try this. Okay, I'm just going to use any of these emails like this. Subscribe. Okay. Uh, the button is looking like crazy. Uh, I don't know if this created a subscription. We can just get a subscription table very fast. Okay, this side 
I'm just going to create a subscription table with only emails. We can get this from uh, let's go very fast to shared. Um, What am I looking for? I'm just going to go to blocks. Just need to get a car just here. Um, just need only the emails. Just going to copy this one. Okay, where we have these either this or uh, this one uh, this one has no much things mm. i don't know i'm just going to take this one okay I'm just going to go and in anywhere and just going to say subscribers. So TSX, I paste that. I'm just going to also say subscribers. Okay. The we'll have also this. Just going to see here, yeah. Uh, you made subscribers. recent subscribers I guess I just say your subscribers uh, there is no view over just cut this uh, we'll have the the customer uh, we don't need status date she just going to say view I said you need this here so just going to have like literally two columns only uh, the same thing this side I'm just going to go first of all and remove all the remaining rows Okay, up to here, just like this. Okay, so I can just get the subscribers and I will go to dashboard. I'll create a new thing uh, in here, here. New file which is going to be inside subscribers strap page the TSX RFC and then we can just like put subscribers and we can just get the subscribers by say const so you could first get the user const user is equal to I will get both user okay uh, let's say make this async function and this pass in here get const uh, const subscribers sub subscribers sub
the word subscribe is not easy for me is equal to await and you're going to say here get use uh, subscribers and this person use uh, uh, the id and this is going to be uh, here we're just going to say just like this now we could just actually uh, uh, at first i just actually get them the way they are right now for purposes of typescript i'm just going to manipulate them inside so get the subscribers here uh, just like this there of type subscriber from Prisma like this. Now we could just say const uh, uh, list is going to be equal to subscribers. Subscribers dot map. So I want to manipulate them. Uh, here we have an item and we just want to return an object. So I want to return here. I want to just say const uh, username is going to be equal to item dot split. Uh, let me just say split on at. Okay, split. So here item dot split and we are splitting from remember these are emails and we just when you split you just get uh, yes I get uh, one to get the one at zero I guess uh, okay uh, this oh. It's going to be item dot uh, email okay so we split the email at at and we take this first part as the username so now we can just have this username comma and uh, email which is going to be item dot email okay uh, great so now I can just now use this array now, the list. Uh, we can just now go ahead and map it, map here, list dot map. And the, I'm just also going to have an item with its index. this return uh, this now as uh, was passing the key uh, which is going to equal to i uh, for this they just pass the username so item the username and then this one is going to be the email item the email so all these ones I'm just going to actually delete uh, delete here and maybe we could just like at last in this one uh, you will put just like uh, a button okay or maybe send mail Okay, I don't know, like, uh, let's make this to be small or size or oh, small. Okay, let's just go and see this. Uh, if you just go back here, let's put the subscriber uh, inside the communication, I think. 
so just go to the sidebar and inside inside the communication emails i'm just going to add another link okay of Maybe we could just call this email list or we could just call it subscribers okay uh, subscribers uh, dashboard subscribers and this could just say like may okay so if i just go back here just want to see a refresh. Mm, just going to click on the subscribers. Okay, dashboard subscribers okay the whichever i created i'm not sure what i created okay okay what, what is this portfolio okay i knew the spelling of this sub subscribers Okay. okay so you can see there is have uh, one let me just go ahead and give the max with it um, maybe we just we go to the page itself Give this a class name max width of three maybe xl let's just look at the padding of eight just to okay and then you can just instead of a uh, customer I just say here subscriber. Okay, so you can see this uh, uh, works very well. The emails you have them, they are working. So the problem we had yesterday was I don't know, after deploying for some reason, the uh, these. Um, uh what was it there's some which were not working i think the team members i don't know on the local host for some reason they come okay i don't have any members now just go ahead and try to invite on a certain project uh we have to fix that i think right now the portfolio just was finished the portfolio just in a second one thing here so customize your portfolio uh, preview okay i can just go to the portfolio page is it like the portfolio page or something uh, dashboard portfolio so if you just go to dashboard okay okay and uh, you just need this side here okay so we have 
this copy function i think uh, and for this one we just need let me put an i here let me give also a class name uh, to width of four height of four for the copy is going to first of all okay is going to be first of all uh, a variant of outline and it will also go we're just going to say here share and we have also to show the icon here so here i think we have the copy icon let's see okay uh the icon so it is to be last name uh, mr2 um then with this oh four i do four We just come here just create uh, create for me a okay i'm just going to say create for me a share a share link uh, component uh, that takes in a link that takes in a link and when I click I click on share it opens a pop-up with different with different share options I like copy to clipboard I copy uh, copy link uh, whatsapp uh, linkedin and twitter okay let's just see what uh, what is going to create Okay, uh, this looks nice. Okay, I'm just going to go get this. Oh, yes, see here, share. Uh, inside down here, uh, uh, link share or share link. Uh, 
I'm just going to see which component doesn't share link. Share link, do TSX and paste this. Okay. So you need to install also this, uh, the use, uh, the toast. And I just go to here, components, toast. Okay. So installation, just NPM. A new tab here and just install this. Just say yes. Okay, so I'm just going to simply uh, get this share link and I'm just going to take it to this place where we have the share link and you have to pass in the link itself so if you hover it takes in the link so you can just say construct the link by saying const uh, base URL is equal to uh, process dot env dot next uh, public base URL okay and then we can say const uh, link is going to be equal to so we construct the base URL stock so basically, uh, the portfolio link is this one. Okay. Uh, this is the portfolio link. Okay. So here, uh, Okay, so this is the base URL stock portfolio. Then we have to generate this is the slug dollar uh, slug, and then this is the ID which is actually um, which is actually id so it's going to be this is the use id okay so this is going to be the user dot id then we just put link is equal to link. So here, uh, link is equal to link. Now this, you need to make this use client. We still have problem with this use toast. I don't know where do we get the use toast. And we just see here sharing. Where do I get used to? You can ask, ask here. Where do I get use uh, used to?
Okay, so first install. Okay, we added the toast. And then once once you have added the toast component, you can import the use toast. Okay, and I just like whatever the toast is here. We could just like use our own toast. I don't know why we are starting with this. But let's try one more time. There is the from sooner. There is also another toast from this. I don't know if it, this is the one, but we can confirm. Uh, uh, First of all, just here, copy. Okay, I'm very really sure that is not the one now. Because it didn't do that. Okay, we could just use our toast. Link copy. The link has been copied to uh about toast from sooner. Let me see. We have toast from very many places sooner. Okay, for the sooner now, it doesn't accept the title. Okay, so finally, I'm just going to use my mighty toast from reactor toast dot success. I can say link copy successfully. Okay. And here we have even this set timer is not needed. Oh, okay, that one is needed. Okay, just click. Yeah. So Twitter, uh, even if you open Twitter with this, take the link. Yeah. So you can see text the link and okay great and then the link then the same thing and whatsapp okay so this is cool um what it is okay uh i'm out of time i have to stop let me see the time here three hours Okay. Well, mm. subscribers, we have the portfolio now. Okay. Uh, one more thing is going to be the final one is going to be. Uh, let's just go to the preview. Okay. So let's go here and I choose some projects that I want. So you can just go to projects. I can go to just go to the projects. Can I just I go to the projects? Okay, so I just need um just need like these two I just need to activate only four. So let me just deactivate this. And this one no. and I'm gonna create that just like this 
I also put project. Just need a for projects. Okay, uh, those are three and finally four. Okay, we just said we're going to put the remaining projects in like a carousel down there. Let me just like uh, update. So we have like the uh, the four uh, projects here. Um, and the uh, I think I'm just going to do it in the next video. So uh, in the next video, I just want to customize the detailed page uh, for these uh, projects. Okay, we need to customize the detailed page for these these projects, which will be uh, really really cool. And uh, like if someone clicks on read on read more, then they will just go to the that public. Uh, project like this other they detail the page for this project okay uh, but for now uh, let's just leave it uh, like this uh, for now and the, we'll just like resume uh, in the next uh, episode and I think the next episode will be the final episode okay yeah I will make it that in the next episode which will be episode I think episode 9 uh, should be the last episode. We should finish uh, everything that is remaining in that. And the two, I think, three functionalities that we need to um, to do in that is going to be the file manager, the emails, and uh, customizing the project detailed page. Okay. But in today's episode, it was really nice. We did a number of things. And uh, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And then hit that um, uh, the like button and also you can share the video with others. Thank you so much uh, for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one.